What does it say about Ben Robert Smith? Ben Robert Smith is a murderer who killed unarmed civilians while serving in the Australian military in Afghanistan. A federal court judge has found that this afternoon in a comprehensive defamation decision in favour of the newspapers that published those allegations. Hey, um, today is a day of justice. It's a day of justice for those brave men of the SAS who stood up and told the truth about who Ben Robert Smith is. A war criminal, a bully and a liar. So one word, justice. Ben Robert Smith BC, Australia's most decorated living soldier, brought this defamation action against The Age, the Sydney Morning Herald and the Canberra Times saying he'd been defamed by articles they wrote saying that he was a war criminal, he was a murderer, he was a bully and he was a domestic violence perpetrator. Today is a day of some small justice for the Afghan victims of Ben Robert Smith. Ali Jan was the man kicked off the cliff. Ali Jan was a father, Ali Jan was a husband, he has children who no longer have a father. He has a wife who no longer has a husband. He was kicked off a cliff by Ben Robert Smith and he was murdered with Ben Robert Smith's participation. There's some small justice for him. The newspapers have won this case by proving essentially almost all of those allegations. The two centrepiece allegations, one around the murder committed at Darwin in 2012, where Ben Robert Smith is alleged to have marched a handcuffed unarmed prisoner to the edge of a cliff before kicking him off that cliff and then ordering a subordinate soldier to shoot him dead has been found proved by Justice Anthony Basanko. A second allegation involving a mission to a compound known as Whiskey 108 where two men were found hiding in a tunnel has also been proved. Those two men were pulled unarmed out of that tunnel and they were executed, one by Ben Robert Smith himself and one by a junior soldier at Ben Robert Smith's orders. The judge found those allegations were proved Another murder was proved, others that were alleged by the newspapers weren't proved, and nor was the allegation that he committed an act of domestic violence against a woman with whom he was having an affair. I don't want people to think of this as a bad day for Australian soldiers. I think of those soldiers that not only had physical courage, but also moral courage. Nick and I know them well. We've spent a lot of time with them. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm proud that they're out there, that as journalists we can meet Australian people who are prepared to tell a difficult truth and stand up to it. It's a relief for the media, frankly. We, you know, we're, we're so often on our knees, it, it often feels so hard to, to even do ordinary work, let alone work as difficult as this. So uh, this judgment comes as, as, a, as a great relief.